you take a look at the odds and you realize it doesn't take no rocket scientist to figure that I was just another lost cause of a solo. These guys, these hackers, they were after me. They had some special forces bloodstalker operative to do the job, trained in the very depths of the bog biome ever since the release of the Genesis DLC. Legend has it, he has the fastest bowler pump switch in the game. Now me, well this shack of a base was my home. I had a few turrets and nowhere near enough bullets for what was to come. That's what I had going for me closing day 2. And yeah, you heard me right. I said day two. Wait, 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 then what the hell did you catch on day one? I'm getting to that man, hold on, hold your horses. You see, on day one, I made the poor choice of risking my entire base in this fight. I know, the name made it that much worse. Talk about insult to injury. And for the remaining time of day one, I spent it gathering drops, you know, so I at least had something to put on the table. Of course, I mean, if it were me, with the progress, or should I say no progress, I'd be embarrassed to come empty-handed. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just the thing. As I was about to call it tonight, and take away that loot, this happened. So, yeah, that, that was my day one. By definition, a lost cause of a solo. Or should I say, almost. The one thing I had going for me, even though I didn't have much materialistically, was the wall, the determination, and the persistence to respawn. To prove it, look what I woke up to on day two. If that's not taking the piss, I don't know what is. You've got to be kidding me, the guy that took my cliff blood just decided, you know what, I'm gonna place it like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, nah, that right there would be taking the piss, can't argue that one. Ah, <laughs> thanks. You at least gave me that one. Anyways, regardless of the piss taking, I still continued, building myself up, setting down a base, and even though I had no business in doing a raid at all, I decided to spend some of my valuable time in doing just that. Let me guess, it didn't end well? Yeah, it didn't end well. And using whatever time I had left before the attack, I finally came to my senses to focus on my home, and this shack of a base is what I was able to scrap together, doing whatever I could in my power to make the best of these last few moments here. You got anything to say before we get this show on the road? Damn, this, this is getting juicy. I'm gonna grab some popcorn. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. And while you're at it, make sure to leave a like and sub. Of course, last but not least, enjoy the video. Oh, Taras just lit up someone. And they did not die. Oh my god. They're on a bloodstalker. No. Okay, we've been found. That's the second player that's found us. I don't think it's that same guy from earlier. Damn, it's a good thing I got these turrets set up. Oh man, this kid is still trying. What level is this stalker? Okay, it's a level 92. That's good because... He won't be able... I think he's trying to soak my bullets is what he's trying to do. Oh man, yeah, there's no way I can produce bullets. As fast as he can soak him. I need to get a weapon to kill that. It's gonna cost me more gunpowder though is the only thing. I have a bow and arrow. Or my crossbow. 
I think he's definitely trying to soak it. Okay, there we go, one more bullet in there. All the turrets on top looking. Turrets on top are decent. Just gonna put all in there. I'm just gonna keep on crafting bullets, I guess. It's the only way. Oh my god, this guy doesn't give up. Yeah, he's literally trying to soak the turret. With the little bullets I had, there wasn't much soaking to do. There's nothing I can really do. I don't know. This guy was smart. He was soaking my turrets quickly, and the only reason he could do it quickly was because he knew how to heal quickly. As for his flak, well, that's what I was hoping he didn't prepare for. Yeah, there's the guy's back again. It's so annoying because I can't do anything. And he's just continuously soaking my turrets. I'm a level 90 bloodstoker, that's actually a joke. It's actually a bit of a joke right there, let me tell you. I'm gonna make a long I'm gonna try and see if I can kill it. I don't know if I can, because I only have a May Wing. Or just damage it in general is what I need to do. Oh yeah, my food is already started to run out. Not looking too good here, boys. Nah, you know what? This thing's actually getting bloody. I think the long is gonna be the move. Oh, I did not mean to craft another one. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, it's just gonna take metal though, mostly. Uh, do I have any gunpowder in here? It has some here. Okay, I'm gonna spend all this gunpowder. And I'm already. Oh. Okay, his bloodstalker has to be low after all of that. He's probably just. I think I know what he's doing. He's probably just using random tames down at the bottom. He's just continuously healing and soaking, healing and soaking. I just gotta find out where. Or I need him to come back and then I need to follow him. And then just keep on laying shots down on him. Oh man. This couldn't have come at a worse timing. It seemed like my only way out. But at the same time, he may have underprepared as he was nowhere to be seen. I think it might have stopped, I don't know. It looks like it at least. He just might have stopped trying his luck. I mean, I do have a good bit of gunpowder. Or a good bit of charcoal to make gunpowder. So that's a good thing. Before I do go, I'm just gonna craft up this big batch. Of bullets, get my turrets bullet counts up. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna focus on base work instead. Like, I put a lot of time focused into that raid, but the thing is, if that if I was able to get into that base earlier, oh my, good, that would have paid off massively. It would have paid off insanely. It's just unfortunate that guy had logged on in time. That's the only thing with that raid. But now we're just gonna make the best of the situation. I'm gonna probably uh, just craft up as much gunpowder as I can. Make as many bullets. And then I'm gonna hit the jump. Got a push session lined up. Whew! That was a relief. Especially seeing as I had to go to the gym. But before logging off, I made sure to fill up my turrets with as many bullets as I could. As I could not rely on the hope that those who wanted to attack me would stop whilst I was gone. You are a legendary stalker pilot. How did you fail? Well, when you give me a crappy stalker, what do you expect? Fair enough, I am no longer in need of your services. I've got someone else in mind. Yeah, whatever, just make sure I get my pay on time or else it'll be your base I'll be soaking next. You know what you need to do. It's not pretty, but it has to be done. 
I know. Gosh, here we go again. Okay, I've just got back from the gym. This turret is looking backwards. 87 bullets. This one? 105. Okay, so that one still has all its bullets. This one up here? I oh, definitely killed someone. Reaper King level 93. Just as I had suspected, someone else had tried their luck on my base. But I needed to be grateful, as I now had an opportunity to further fortify it. Oh, I think, so yeah, smithies are super weird on official. They move a bit mad. I think you just gotta place them this way though. And you should be fine. Okay, I just need to get polymer. Base is looking decent. Got smithies. And then after I get the chemistry bench up and running, I'll go farm a bunch of metal, wood, get all of those resources. I'm just gonna head down into the rad spot. I hope no one has turrets down here. Just use my parachute. What in the world? Rock trick eggs? Any good ones? 15, 15. Nah, all oh, horrible. Someone's bags here. Black poles. Strider transmitter. Oh, so I think someone came here to farm here with a strider or something. Are there any like crazy amounts of polymer down here? Yes, there is. 1.8k, just like that. Someone did the work for us. Alright, that's gonna keep us pretty good on polymer for a little bit. I just gotta get out of here. And I swim back at base with all the polymer. I'm just gonna grab it all. Did not mean to take all these mushrooms. Ollie, toss it in there. Holy, yeah, this is the most polymer I've had. Anyways, chemistry bench coming up. Okay, cool. So we have our thing down like that. Then I wonder, does it allow me to place a ceiling above? It does. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. Because I'd like to place my chemistry benches. I say benches. For now, it's just chemistry bench. I'd like to place them on here. Okay, nice. We now have... I just need to grab the ARB. Okay, we got bullets in there. We have bullets there. Okay, I think every turret should have bullets now. And we should have full 360 degree coverage. Yeah, we got a turret there with 100 bullets. Turret there with 129. 129. 136. 114 perfect okay so now we at least have i'll just put that there like that doesn't really matter too much not gonna really have the flows around here just for now but now we at least have full turret coverage we have one two three four so we have two turrets we'll shoot on that side we got one two two turrets on this side yeah we're looking pretty pretty good right now or oh, okay i'd say so the base should be fine if i leave it to go farm and that sort of thing and my main goal is just to get a bunch of resources, get a bunch of turrets, get up, or just everything really. And I want to get level 100 so I can get some heavies on the base. Before I log off, that's like my main goal right now. But we're not looking too bad. Okay, how does that not connect? Got him. Oh my god, long neck is devastating, bro. What is this? Wiki. I'm gonna leave his stuff, I guess. He has a lot of... Oh, I guess he wanted to tame... A shadow man. Oh, well, uh, shame. I'm, I'm gonna leave his things. I'll take his five minutes thatch, because I can use that to make more refining forges, but... It doesn't really have anything else that I can use. I came here to farm. 
Got the chainsaw as well. Let's get cracking, mates. Let's get cracking. Someone's base here. I wonder if it will have any hide. That's like the main resource I'm in need of. Ooh, it, chances are it does. Uh, 90 hide. I might as well just take all these resources. This is actually huge. Was not expecting it to have this much. If he has stuff in there, he definitely has stuff in the mortar and pistol. He did, but there wasn't that much. And once I was done here, I looked for a way to get out when... Probably shouldn't engage with this player. I don't like how close we get into this guy. I don't know why I'm co co continue to fight him when I have so much on me. He's definitely loaded though, that's probably why. I want to continue this fight, I want to kill him because he definitely has stuff on, on him. Where'd he go? I don't know, where just beams my ass. Oh, he's right there. Come on, no, 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 no. How is he still alive? And I died to one tick punch. Shwoody knock. Oh yes, we got him, we got him. I was about to say. I need to be more patient when I'm taking my shots. Like back there, I was just too impatient. Definitely way too impatient on my side. Let's see what he had. Oh, he didn't have much. Well, who would have thought? Oh man, transferring out at these places is always so sketched. Okay, cool. Let's go. We just got a huge farm. We got refining for Yeah, we made it out. We got refining forges. We got a bunch of metal, stone, flint. Just a bunch of a bunch of wood as well. With the chainsaw, I just mined two trees and I think I got like 6,000 wood. So we're pretty much sorted on resources. Yes, we have a bed. So that means our base is not raided. That's always a good sign. The only problem I face every time I come back is how do I deposit all of this? Okay, so let's just toss all the flint in there, all the stone, and now we make a bunch of spark powder. Nice. As far as progression goes, there wasn't much I could do as I had just started smelting my resources. So in the meantime, I spent my time familiarizing myself with those around me okay what is this that i've just found wait oh no way no way those are autos oh my god bro this is so free No freaking way. I have to hit this right now. That is so free. Holy if I've ever seen anything free in my life. I have to hit that right now. Oh my god. I have an industrial forge and everything. Okay, well, I'm gonna need at least two flax sets because we know that auto shoots us, I mean, we'll be able to tank a bit, but not that much. But the way he's placed the auto, I should be able to just run right up against the wall and I should be fine. That's a plan of stalker. I'm not sure if that's the guy from the base. I hope this guy doesn't have stalkers. Yeah, my man is hot chasing me down. Don't want to lead him to my base though. Really, you can't chase me forever. 
I guess I'm wrong. I'm gonna run out of stamina before him is the thing. I'll have to go back to base. Yeah, okay, he's gonna know where I live now. Yep, okay, he knows where we all live. That's not good. I need to regen stamina though, so like I didn't really have much of a choice. Shit. More and more people will find out about my base, and with autos, it wouldn't be up for much longer. But this target was something I couldn't pass up. Okay, I think, yeah, this is more than enough C4 for a large metal wall. Should be. Do any of these have things so I can make an extra flag seat? Okay, this one does. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I do want... I, I, I want to... Re I have to, actually. I have to hit up this ray target because... If I don't, they, it's just going to give them time to bold up. But, and the resources that I get from this, I'm just going to have to straight immediately just invest those resources back into this base more defenses and that sort of thing i have seven c4 wait i can't leave just yet lag lag what is going on game is my may wing just deciding to not work oh my god bro i think it's because i hit the right mouse button but still you gotta be kidding me and that guy's on a high level stalker as well. I know you can farm blood bags to tame these stalkers, but I wonder how people get that many blood bags because... On official, if you mind wipe, you're not allowed to mind wipe for a day. And I'm not trying to play with a, a million health on my character and then have no weight. Like, nah, I, I ain't about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, for those who don't know what I mean, you, you can only... There's a cooldown when you can use a mind wipe. I believe it's a whole day on official, so... Yeah, I'm not trying to do that right now. I guess you could just make a hell of bids and... Bam your fingers until... Until the end of time. Until you get enough blood packs, but... I don't know. I will need to get my hands on blood stalkers doing though if i want to scout either that or wyverns but for aberration ideally bloodstalkers uh i just hold not actually it's such a bad idea to lure that guy to my base though uh why did i come back the flax it okay let me just get this can i make a shield yeah i can make a metal one Okay, we got the C4, we got our long neck, got some bowlers, should be good to go. I really hope the Bloodstalker guy was like just some, I think, I can't remember his name, but I'll know if he's part of this tribe or not after just getting one quick look at this tribe's name. Africa. Okay, so he's not part of the same tribe. Yo, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. He's saying he's friendly. Bullard. Oh, I only have a long neck. Killed him. Oh, oh my gosh, shotgun shells, crossbow. Okay, where's the bids? This is the gin. I think his beds are inside there. Okay, turrets are down. Quick meat. ARB. I'll take the gasoline. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. He's absolutely loaded, bro. Hello? Yo, my guy. Hello? He's all man. Yo, hello. Yo, bro, if you unlock the vault, uh, I'll leave your stuff. Well, some of it. I'll just take what I need. Yeah, sure. Come here. Wait, wait. Uh, first, can I give you the goddamn antidote as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd appreciate that, actually. Yeah. Oh, no. This was his chemistry bridge we blew up. Oh. There, take that. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, okay, I'm... sorry about Ashley. I'll, I'll give you most of your stuff. You're so bad right now. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <sighs> well, thanks for not killing my cinema crops. <laughs> uh, no problem, man. Uh, I won't take anything from your vault. It's not really uh, items that I'd use. Yeah, like, uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just uh, yeah, thankful for not taking the whole thing down. So yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, sorry about that, man. Uh, you have some gasoline. I no. <laughs> I took some of your gasoline. Uh. <laughs> no, no, you're all good. All good. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel so. B oh man. <laughs> no, no, no need to feel like that. We're all good. Oh. All good. All good. Okay, thank you, man. And uh, good luck on your wipe as well, brother. Yeah, yeah you too. Bye bye. Oh man, what a nice guy. But he was so rich, I had to do it. Ah, <laughs> uh, if it wasn't me, it was gonna be someone else. Oh, I feel so oh man, I feel so bad, but... Oh, there's a fat base up there. Yeah, that's a... There's definitely a fat base up there. I'd actually like to scout. That's why I need a blood stoker, uh, so I can scout spots like that. Okay, but at least okay. There's a there's a couple bases around here. Oh, what's this? Oh man, what a kind soul and friendly player. I'm gonna take the charcoal so I can make some gunpowder. He even gave me the antidote. Like the antidote was the one thing I needed. Uh. Before I went to get level 100 because I wanted to see exactly how much points would be going to wait. And that sort of thing. Oh man. I took his turret. Ah. Oh. I mean, so he can make another generator though and... Because all I really did destroy was his one wall and his... Yeah, all I really did destroy was his one wall and... That was it. Yeah, his one wall and his generator, so he can easily get his like defenses back online. Oh man. But I mean this is PvP, like you know it's just Ah, I just feel bad though. I guess if he was like toxic, <laughs> he could have at least called me an asshole or something, you know, then then that would have made it better. But he was just ah uh... Nah. Hopefully he has a good wipe. I felt so bad, but at the same time, so freaking good. I mean, did you see the loot inside that base? Ah, I know, right? Those resources. I know, right? I mean, I mean, I guess, yeah, it was a bit awkward when he offered us the antidote and the very structure that made that antidote was the chemistry bench we destroyed. Yeah, that, that, that was a bit awkward. Yeah, that, that was awkward. Yeah, but I mean, not to dull in the moment, but we can't forget the cherry on top. Oh yeah, the cherry on top, which was... I like it better when you say it. You know, the shotgun shells. It was exactly what I needed to take my base from auto turret peasantry to high-end heavy turrets. Yeah, I pretty much have. I think it should be enough shotgun shells to get me to level 100. I don't know why, but I feel like the rates on here on Arc Park is... Like, pretty, pretty boosted compared to, uh, 
MTS, like just slightly a bit more. I feel like even when farming metal and th those sort of things, I, I'm not sure if it's maybe the stack sizes that makes it appear that way because on MTS things stack in 500 and uh, here it stacks in 300, so I'm not sure if that's why. Or maybe just in general. I think the rates might just be a, a slightly more boosted than MTS, the official Arc Park rates. But I, I should have enough shotgun shells. I am also a fairly high level, I'm actually almost level 86. So as long as there are enough, what are those things called? Spinos to go around, I should be fine. Hopefully. Oh man, I still... Oh man, I'll never forget that guy, man. He gave us an antidote. He was... I don't... I, damn, I've never met someone so pure in Ark before. Like... Even though I killed him, I blew up the man's chemistry bench, I, I did all of these horrible things to him. Even though I did all of those, it, my man was just chill. He was like, it's okay. Yeah, take an antidote. To get, like, he, he helped me get rid of my sickness. He cured me of the disease. I stole from him. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've never been in on that kind in all before. My thinking here is to grab uh, all the 2x notes first. So I did skip the 4x over at the portal spawn, but the reason for that is I'm gonna grab all the 2x's I usually would grab anyways, and then I'll get the 4x's lost, so that way I have a lot of time on my 4x instead of grabbing the 4x and now it's time is running down as we speak. And I know I will get uh, the 4x XP boost when I collect these 2x's, but when you're this high level, it will make a little bit of difference. I probably would, you know, gain maybe a level or so here and there. But otherwise, I'm not too bothered. I'm just going to collect the two X's I usually collect and then I'll get the four X's after. Oh, we got the four X. Now I just got to go grab the other four X by the portal side and then I'll get the most possible time. You know, apart from the unluckiness or just my bad luck that I've had I'm really enjoying the, the official experience it's a different one you know sure you get the sickness and sure you get the the timer on the drops but there's also a lot of other cool things like I guess with the genesis uh, it does make it a bit OP with the drops but seeing as it's so contested you know I really even get a chance so I'm sure it's like that for a lot of other people they get a chance to get those good stuff but then also the people you meet are way different, like, so far on the unofficials, I just meet like, you know, mostly tryout people. But you know, today I, I feel like I'm gonna run into more kind-minded people like that other guy. Also, the amount of players I've ran into so far, most of them have been uh, fairly kind to me. Like the one guy on the stalker who didn't raid my base. Mind you, he could have very well, if he wanted to, my base was gone. He could have done it just like that, but he decided to leave me be. I don't know. I think I'm gonna play the server with the approach of being friendlier. Obviously, if a tribe is pretty big, I'm gonna wipe their ass and take advantage. Like that other guy that cheated. I swear he was cheating. He had ESP. I, I swear it. There's no way he saw me that quick. And then just insta beam me. First I was like, okay, he's got a good shot, but second time he just hopped out his base and boom. He knew exactly where I, where I was and shot at me, so... Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one, Chief. But anyways, we got the final note. Let's focus on killing these Spinos and also not getting jumped by a Bloodstalker. What level are you? Oh, I'm gonna get levels from this one. Oh, 140! No way! Nice, we have 300 health, and then I'm just going to do the rest, wait. Okay, level 99. I have over enough time, and I think that's over enough shotgun shells. Hello. Uh, yo, how's it going, man? Yo, what up? Just out here trying to get level 100, killing the Spinos and that. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Have a good day. Thanks, man, you too. You see guys, that's what I'm talking about. Like people out here are so, so kind.
I d uh, like official, I don't know. On unofficial, usually that guy would have been two tap Maywing boom. You know? And you may be thinking, well, it's a fresh wipe since like, what do you expect, you know? But this is a fresh wipe, this is Ark Park, what do you mean? It's the exact same concept, I feel. But I just, I don't know, people are just so much more kinder. Gonna be the one random guy that shows clip of me on MTS getting spared or something, just watch. I swear there's probably like one at least. Damn, nah, I'm, I'm gonna make it my my goal to like be kinder to players. I feel I wasn't the kindest I could have been, like I maybe could have left that guy with one auto turret, I don't know. I might just be I might just be sounding crazy right now, but these people are treating me well, so if I'll take profit, you know, from raids and that, but if there's something I really don't need and I can see the other guy struggling, I'll, I'll just leave him with it, you know how it is. Sins is gone soft. I want the old Sins back. Can see the comments already. Wow, someone just, something just stole my kill. We should have enough knockout shells. It's getting a bit close, actually. I swear, these things always come down to the wire with me. Whenever I'm going for 100, it always comes down to the wire. Oh, I panic. Okay, nah. We should, that was a pretty decent level. We can get another 45 like that, we should be fine. I'm not leaving my Maywing down here. My Maywing will die in one second down there. Up here is nice though. Gonna make sure I get good shots. Don't wanna waste a shotgun shot. And I have to commit with long neck. I've, I've already used the long neck. Gotta commit. Hey, we actually got it. No way. I'm just gonna keep these shotgun shells. I might as well. And this will be my new PvP kit. Let's go. Level 100. Oh my god. Let's freaking go. And we're actually killing it today. Made in comparison to wait is today yeah today would be the second day of wipe in comparison to uh, oh i think you did the tech suit thing it's where you go into the radiation zone and you can oh, i need to learn how to do that actually because then i could just farm my metal on aberration i wouldn't have to stress about gen you I wonder if, you ha if you'll have anything. I got my level 100, so I guess I can do a bit of... Hello, man. Hello. How do you get tech suit... ...working? Oh my god, I probably sound like an idiot. I think I think you're just going to the radiation though. I'm pretty sure you're just going to the radiation and that's it. Like into the there's like a water or something that charges up the suit. I'll look it up. I'm pretty sure. Because then I can basically just farm all my resources on aberration, metal, flint, pretty much anything I'd want. I could just farm with the tech suit here. It won't be an infinite. I'll probably have to like recharge it a couple times though. So I'm not too sure what would be better. Or more efficient but i guess i can try and test it out but for now my main focus i want to at least get a few heavies up on the base now that we have the level for it i think four is going to be my goal before i log off i got the level for heavies but i at least want to get four heavy turrets so two on each corner i want to get like two on this side two on that side or one on that side and then probably one on this back corner here Oh man. Heavy turret. What else are we gonna unlock? Mmm, right here, I'm not too sure. Cooker, maybe. Crow fridge. Rocket launcher, definitely. Definitely need rocket launcher. Gas mask. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty much all I need to unlock. And I have a bunch of engrams to spend on other things. If I do need. Did I unlock the battery? Yeah, I did. 
Yeah, so let's see when we need to make a heavy turret. Oh, we can actually get one of them. Uh, where would I put this heavy? I think defense-wise, yeah, we have equal turrets. We have four on this side, four on this side. But I guess I'll go for this right-hand side. We'll get one like all at the bottom. That's actually sick. We can actually get a heavy. I think I just need more electronics, but I might do some scouting before I go farm electronics. Maybe I can hit up a raid. That raid will give me the electronics I need. Oh man, here we go. The first heavy turret of the... What am I missing? Metal. As I was saying, first heavy turret of the wipe coming up. Ooh, that is... We can actually get another. Oh man, I think we can actually get another. No way. Okay, I want... I'm gonna place this one like... Hmm. I feel like it's important to actually have more heavies on this level that I'm on right now. Autos can like protect the bottom area. But I definitely want more heavies up here. I think that's the way to go about it. Yeah, so I'll have autos protect- Oh my god. The base, you always just feel so much heavy. Heavy? You always just feel so much safer. Adding a heavy turret to your base. And then we can just have this here. Ooh. Damn, I already feel so much safer just having that heavy turret right now. Okay. And then I guess I'm gonna add... If we have a heavy there. Have a heavy there. Have a heavy there and then a heavy at the bottom. So I'll turn this into a heavy then. I'm pretty sure we have the resources for it. And then I pr okay, I, and then I'll go. F I'll save up with the industrial forge afterwards because that should buy me enough time to. These heavy turrets should buy me enough time, having four on the base to. To get what's it called, an industrial forge. I just need some metal. Which I'm sure these forges will provide. Yeah, we'll be good on metal. Let me get like 1k and then I'll put the rest in weight. Actually helps a lot, nice. So normal crops just for this alone, man. I feel it's such a useful term. Just need a little bit more metal. Yeah, that will do it. Boom. Oh my god. Two heavies on the base. This is gonna be huge. Look at that. We have three autos to like watch our low ground to make sure people don't sneak underneath. And then we have two heavy turrets watching the top. My next heavy turret will probably go there, and then I'll probably do one on this back corner. So we only need two more heavies, and for that I think we're going to need more electronics. Yeah, so we're going to need more electronics. Metal will smelt up in the meantime. I think we might may even be out of pace, so I could even go scout maps where I can get paced. Like a, a good amount of it. Actually, no, we, we are, we're doing oh, pretty decent on pace, now that I look at it. Oh man. The wipe. It was it was a bit rough, I'm not gonna lie. It was a bit rough, but it, things are starting to pick up. You love to see it. I love to see it. I mean, just yesterday I had nothing. And today, everything. Wait, hold on a second now. I think you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself. Okay, okay, you're right. Maybe not everything. But I was far better off than what I was the day before, which truly goes to show what true solo determination can really get you. Can we at least agree on that? Yeah, sure. But now that you've spent the resources on upgrading your base, what do you plan to do next? Not to be disrespectful or anything, but it's quite simple. 
the very first target I came across was the very first target I took action against, meaning there was still far more out there. I just needed to search. No, oh, there's actually a base here. But judging by I didn't even know you could bolt here on official. Oh, there's some stuff here. Some metal. Oh, there's actually a good bit of metal. Oh, I wonder if I can take this. I think I can take a good bit of it though. With the weight of my... But if I do that... Okay, I know I can't move, but... If I toss it all on the Sonoma crops... Yeah, that's about as much as I can do on the Sonoma. Oh, if I can get this back to base, that would be huge. If I drop that... Oh my god. That was so heavy. I can just about move. How much metal is that? That's like... That's 700 just there, and then like another... 200 on my Sonoma crops. That's 900 ingots. That's more than enough for two heavy turrets. Spare 100 ingots. Oh, it's actually huge. I guess whoever raided it didn't have a team that could exactly carry all the metal. Oh, I lucked out. Oh, I'm so heavy and so slow though, but I need to get this back to base would be so worth. <laughs> Look how slow the... I don't even know if I can parkour up to base with this thing, but... Oh, it sure as hell is going to be worth getting it there. I was thinking of heading over to Crystal Isles to tame some Crystal Wyverns. But Crystal Isles is like one of the most populated maps right now. So best believe if I try to tame a Crystal Wyvern, I'm going to get just cucked by a lot of other players. So I think I might just do that early in the morning, get a Wyvern. I really don't want to tame Bloodstalkers because, or try to. It's just going to take forever to get the Blood Packs. That's like my thinking on that, at least. I think I might just resort to some scouting. I think that's my best bet, just scouting like I am now. Because look, after just a bit of scouting, I already profited 900 metal ingots. Obviously, I, maybe that's an exception as it was a lucky find, but who knows what else I might find. Holy... <laughs> oh my god, I'm so slow. Now, nah, but honestly, Maywing and Sonoma crops, MVPs. Like... Ever since Lost Island got released, and I've been using these two teams in combination with each other, I feel like, as a solo player, they're like your best friends. It's a Noma to half the weight so you can carry more things when you raid a base. Maywing just because of everything that it can do. Oh, come on, let's go, we made that jump. That means we're gonna make it to the base with ease. Maywing, like, Sonoma crops can already do so much, just flying around, like, and then the May Wing as well. Traveling. Oh, these teams in combination with each other. Oh, chef's kiss, I tell you. Chef's kiss. Like, look at that. How much, how much metal is that? 369. 1k ingots right there. 1k ingots. What? <laughs> That's crazy. I don't even think I'm going to continue scouting. I, I think I'll, I have to actually head over to Crystal Isles. And I'll, I, I might just do a quick scout here on Aberration though. Just to get a better idea of who's loving where. Maybe I find a better target. Don't see any turrets. So far so good. There's a little spot up there that people could build in. Spot back there. Nothing back there. So there most likely would be something up here. No, nothing. Just a cliff plot. Anything hidden back here? No. Interesting, okay. Well, this is what I mean. So normal crops in combination with the Maywing. Maywing can get you up to places fast. It can't do the highest place, places in one jump, but it can bowl its way up there. And the Sonoma crops will just put on the finishing touches. But so far, like, after scouting through Aberration, as much as I can scout in base spots, I do know. Uh, I've only really come across 
a friend and then well, I'm not sure if I can call him I look to look at him as a friend even though I raided him maybe he doesn't look the same way but I hope we're friends so it's him and then that other base is still on the ledge but for that I want a bloodstalker is that a, is that a saddled spino? no I'm gonna keep my eyes out for a player on a spino because a blue and orange one that's the one I got absolutely demolished by okay interesting well I do have to head over to crystal isles if I want to get more heavy turrets on my base hmm so I might as well just head over there now I don't have a uh, I don't have a cry pod for my sonoma crops what's the timer I could just upload it oh no that's the other thing on official so if a tame hasn't been on a server, I think for more than a day, you can't upload it. You can upload the tame on the map that it was tamed on immediately. 4 minutes 30, okay, I can get back to base and find a drop in that time. So you can upload a tame into your um, your upload, with so without a crypod, not your arc data, just your upload in general. Only on the map you tamed it, but if that tame hasn't been on the other map you've transferred over to, so in my case, Aberration, then... You can't. I'm not sure if they changed it, but at least when, back when I used to play a long time ago, Smalls, my PS4 days, that's what it was like. May have changed, but at least that's from what I can remember. Because of this, I needed to grab a cryopod, and the reason why I couldn't continue my scouting was simply because of the tames I had. They'd make the process far too inefficient. So once done gathering the pearls on Crystal Isles, I decided to farm the drops as well. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to tame any wyverns, but I feel like uh, I'm going to be waiting for that charcoal and whatever other resource to smelt up come to fruition. So I might as well just, in the meantime, tame a wyvern. It's going to help me scout bases. Oh, and you can actually tame it. No one scuffed it, okay. It's also tropical, which is very nice. It's a decent level. Oh man, I forgot. Oh my god. Can I carry this? Just about. Yeah, that's my electronic farm right there. I also found the loot crates to which surprisingly, uh, not a single one was taken. So I'm not sure if the people on official don't know about them or... Those that do just aren't the right level to start looting them. Alright, it's been a while since I've tamed one of these. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's going to be too long. This is actually a very peaceful tame, you know. For the most part. Unless you run into someone and they see you. And then they start biting your wyvern down. Then it's a... Well, then it's a different story. Otherwise, your wyvern takes you on a journey... Oh, and then also you have to remember the part where it smashes you into the wall. Sometimes if you're unlucky, you may just go into a hill like that. And then, well, then you've got to find a way to get back on this beast. But other than that, uh, I think you should pretty much be fine taming these things. I should have more than enough crystal. Hey, let's go. We got our first wyvern. What's the stats like? Uh, I don't think that's too bad. I'm just going to park my wyvern here. See what's the timer? I got time on my food. Time on the crystal, but nothing else. Yeah, so cool. I can just upload this, and then I can go back to base. Nice. Uh, should yeah, cool. I didn't drop. Damn, I was actually pretty quiet. But I haven't. I only found actually now. I do know of one target, but I can't really scout it. Or maybe I could with my Sonoma. I feel like the way they built their wall—it's so close to the edge. But I need to get closer. I can't be certain just yet. Wonder, is it possible to maywing into this base? They must have bloodstalkers. This could be a big tribe. I gotta be careful here, I don't wanna die. Oh no, definitely close to. They do have bloodstalkers. 
pretty neat crafting station. Oh, bro, no, honestly. You can't exactly. I won't say it's impossible. But because they don't have turrets at the top, you could Maywing Dash. They have two generator boxes, so you'd have to get rid of the two. The turrets would shoot you while you make your way from box to box. More sort of stamina. Oh, but look. A rocket. If I fire a rocket up from here. Ah, oh, bro. I can destroy so many turrets. Wait, I'm gonna go. I need to regen stamina. I want to go get a better look. What would that do exactly though? If I am able to destroy those turrets. Or at least some of them. I mean, all I'm really doing is just getting rid of turrets. Surely those turrets, the moment I get up on that ledge, I'd get lit up by them? Or maybe not. It would be risky, but it would be worth a try. Hmm. I might just give it a go. Okay, so... One rocket. Bingo. Oh my god. Holy smokes. Um... Okay, I just took out a bunch of turrets. Oh my god. Oh, the, the turrets that are high up are going to be a bit tough to get. Oh, we actually got those that are like extremely high up. Okay, I'm going to go for this far right hand side now. Go for this. Oh, well, let me regen some stamp. Okay, so far two rockets and we've done some pretty good damage. It may just be a matter of finding that lip sort of protrudes out which w makes that part of that one part of the wall pretty hard to get to because it's the walls essentially further back just because of that little ledge over there. But I'm going to aim to get this far right hand side down. Yeah, I'm going to try and get this far right hand side down then I can worry about that. Alright, the whole far right hand side is almost disabled. Uh, it's... Okay, it's the center that I want to start working on now. No way. Oh damn, an internal. That's one internal gone. Okay, the terms are not on neutral. We also killed one of the players that was hiding underneath. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I had anything, it's not letting me. Okay, his body's not giving me anything. There's no way this tribe was a solo tribe. How much ARB in each turret? Oh my god, bro. That's gonna be insane ARB. Here's the other player. What? Oh my god, I got the sickness again. You gotta be kidding me. Same seem to be on passive. I just see this bed in the back corner here. I don't see anything else. I may have blown up the bed, so I'm just gonna get rid of the sleeping bag. And then I'm gonna cryo my main wing and bring it up here. So I can start collecting all this ARB. 
I should have another antidote back at base as well. Okay, yeah. Before we look at loot, let me get my May Wing. Oh my god, I can't believe we actually pulled it off. Let's freaking go, man. This is going to be so huge for the base. Like, all this ARB is just going to be... Oh my god, it's just going to be insane. Holy... The fact that they just bolt their wall too close. Like, if they bolted just a little bit back, I would have had so much more problems. Alright, but let's, let's get all this ARB. 200, I'm pretty sure, in each turret. Oh my, that's insane. It's not a lot of bullets uh, for one turret, but for the amount of turrets they had, it's a crap ton. Oh my god. This wipe has just... Oh, it's just flipped so crazily. Oh man, I think I might even have to make a, a trip back to base. Before... I even look in the smithies and that. Now I'm definitely gonna have to. Okay, let me just. I'm gonna get rid of these bodies so I can't get the sickness, even though they are dead. I just wanna look. Okay, let's look inside these structures just to see what they had. Smithy. Ooh, we have some BPs. Oh, look at all those ingots. I'll take the hype because that's light to carry. BPs? Rock trick BP? Ooh, stereo saddle BP. Nice, and a rock trick saddle. I'll take the author of BPs. Other smoothie paste. Okay. That's such as that guy's body. Uh, let's check in this smithy. Ooh, shotgun. Is it do I have a BP? No, but it's just it's better than prom. Long neck BP. Nice long neck. Shotgun. Paste. Some charged batteries. Those are gonna be nice because we have heavies, so now we can get bat heavies going. Uh, check that. Okay. If we get heavy, we just toss the stuff in the Sonoma crops. Okay, I, I just want to like get all the important things. Oh my! Oh my God! Bloodstalkers. Mana, high level mana. Okay, low level field bloodstalker. Some Illy dust. What? Oh my god, what? Oh my... Oh my god! No way! No freaking way! Oh my... Oh... Oh my god... Oh, when's this G spawning? Okay, I need to drop this load off. I need to head back to base, drop this load off and come back with this. We just... Oh my god. Wait, let me maximize my trip. Let me take as much as AD as I can on me. So basically all. Just shove it on the Sonoma. Okay, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. I'm just gonna go back with this. Holy! That's insane. That's actually insane. These guys were loaded. I just got so many tames as well. Okay, the, the main thing is I got all the important BPs. And I got a heck ton of ARB. I got all the important BPs and I got an insane amount of ARB. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna head back though for those other resources. That's that's just crazy. These guys were farmers. That pump BP is disgusting though, I must say. 166 for a master graph. Not to worry, we will get better as we go but i was not expecting that we even have a blood stalker which is nice basically we have a breeding pair we just need to raise the male which is a bit unfortunate but we have a low level female and a very low level male but maybe just maybe i don't know i don't even know what level the blood stalkers are they tames over back at the base we also got so much explosives I was not expecting them to be that rich. Not in the slightest. Okay, nice. I got the whole wall. Alright, we got all the RB. Beautiful. Oh, no, these are neutral. These are high level stalkers. 
Gonna get them taken out of the picture. What's my time on these bags? Okay, we got good time on the bags. These guys somehow find it. Oh, they, I think they even did the aberration boss. Yeah, they definitely they did the aberration boss. Not the hardest one, but they definitely did it. Okay. Took out the maintains. Bunch of five on that one. Uh, meet and hide on that one. Okay. Let's go through the smithy. The main resource I'm looking out for, I'll take the gunpowder. Take the grapples. Why not? Main resource I'm looking for though is paste. But I just heard something. Someone. Maybe it's just me. Okay, maybe it's just me. I didn't check the mortar on pistols. Oh, they even crafted the shotgun. Oh, cactus broth. No way, I could probably do the boss right now. Put that there. Oh my, yeah. Oh my, oh my god, look at that shotgun. That's insane. I'm just gonna check this bag again. Okay. Gunpowder. Place the electronics here. Let me grab all of this. I don't want this, whatever that is. Rock prod. Oh my god. Wait, let me depot some of this on the Maywing that I can at least move. That's just insane. Look at all of this. These turrets. Holy. Look at that paste. Three rocket launches. Take the poly as well. Can't even move. Oh my, look at all of those turrets. Like, what? They did the boss fight. They did so much, but they couldn't... They couldn't freaking get heavy turrets. Even if they ba their base was built exactly the same how it is right now. And they had heavy turrets, it would just been so much harder. Costed so much more. Can I move? Yeah, I can move. Nice. But I ain't complaining. Holy. Uh, oh, chemistry bench right here. Oh my chitin. Oh my gum. Oh my god. <laughs> and then even more metal there. Now the next resource I want to get is hide. I'm going to kill. I don't think I'm going to even bother to try and kill the stegos. That will just take a while. Alright. I think I'm going to make another trip back to base. And then the next trip will be to get the gunpowder. Metal? I think it's gonna take two mini trips to go back and forth is the only thing. With a metal. I don't know, we'll see. Now is your chance. Take as much loot as you can and bring it to me. You got it, boss. Thanks again for the mana. Okay, let me let me have a quick look at this. Okay, so to make it an industrial forge, I think I they definitely do have the metal. Okay. I need Oh my god, I think I, I can actually do it. Uh, I need, okay, um, I'm not sure if they have the crystal over there. I just gotta pray, otherwise I can farm it. Yeah, crystal, we have a bunch here. Uh, I know he gave me a stalker. Yeah, female, it doesn't have the most weight. And basically nothing in comparison to my, but to, just to get back and forth quickly and to farm certain things, it, it's gonna be better to use. Oh my god, does it feel good to be on a blood stalker? Even one as horrible as this one. What's its melee? Goddamn. Okay, I guess they got through the gate. Okay, but let's let's look at the most stacked fab. Okay, this crystal there. Metal wise, I'd say this is the most stacked one. Okay. Let me grab all of those resources. Okay, if I want to make a forge, what am I short of? Crystal, we should be able to get the crystal here. Let me see. Oil polymer. Okay. No biggie. It's a thousand meter right here. Let's toss it in the smithy. Let's play what? Oh my god, we got this. 
They had a tick still going them? I'm so confused. I think this player just came out of nowhere. Oh, so they had a mana. Need to kill this. This player just came to sc scout the spot. They didn't realize. They must have thought this Bloodstalker was this base's Bloodstalker. Mana's almost dead. Mana down. Oh my god, that player I swear I thought I heard someone. And we just got the sickness again, which is great, but it's fine. Oh my god. I need to find the oil though. Oh, I think that's all the oil they have. Forge, what am I short? Okay, so I'm short a little bit of polymer. I know metal I should have though. Yeah, definitely. We definitely got on metal. I just, I just remembered. We have the whoop now. Nice. Forge. We have. We just need literally oil and polymer. I probably have like what. I got. I just realized we also got a, a tick stigo. What? I think this player might have wanted to raid that base. I don't know. I need to be fast though. They very well could be coming back. Only problem, I don't think I have enough oil. I'm probably gonna have to kill Trillobites. Trillobites to get the oil, and then I can just head it to Rad to get the poly. 20 oil? Nah, there has to be another way. Please tell me we have oil lying around here somewhere. Um, I don't think that's enough though. I think I'm still gonna be a little bit short. I know there's nothing in there, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly... Okay, so I got th these resources. I'm gonna quickly grab the polymer that I need. Oh no, I think there's another man just there. Oh, he was definitely looting. Was he taking my stuff for the forge? I don't think he was. I need to kill that. It's a low level as well, so I should be able to. It shouldn't take too long. But I have to kill that. Oh, so players on the man now. I can't play a risky boost. If I die, yeah, I won't be losing much. The player must live close as well. He keeps on coming back here. Did he just switch our manners? What happened to the player? Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what happened to the player. I just checked the oil though. I'm like about 90 oil off. So I'm just going to go quickly kill some trellos. I think that's just going to have to be the way. We took out his mana though. So that's two of his manas dead so far. Yes! I'm pretty sure that's it. And I move just about. Oh my god, it's the walk. The walk of dreams. It all, it's all led up to this moment. Oh, so close, turn it on. Forge. What? I'm short 15 oil, you've got to be kidding me. 
Surely there must be like something on the Bloodstalker. Oh my god, I gotta get back. Wing. Okay, come on. Yes! That's enough. At least I know what I'm what type of farming I'm doing tomorrow. Sure it's gonna have to be oil. We can I think we can do it. Forge. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. We got the forge, boys. Let me grab whatever polymers left. We got the freaking forge. You want to explain what that monstrosity of eluding was? Well, you see, actually on second thought, not really. Never mind. Just be happy he hasn't found us. But you did, didn't you? Yeah, I did. But the problem was, I took no action when I did. When I really should have. But why? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's a bit complicated. You know how I said I wanted to be more friendly because of my past experience with that other guy? Yeah, go on. So because of that, and the fact that when I did find them, all they had was a basic crafting station on top of a cliff platform, I left them alone, not realizing that they'd be the ones to eventually make a move on me. And as great of a day as today was, the high survival chance of my base for the night, I would inevitably have to go to sleep knowing that those counter raiders had a furry, full cycle to build up and prepare. I guess the one thing I had going for me was the fact that they thought they were safe and their base had not been compromised. I really hope you went on to enjoy and if so, please make sure to leave a like and sub. As always a massive thank you for all the support, to all my Patreons and YouTube members for going that extra mile, I greatly appreciate it and until next time, I hope you go on to have a great day or night and I'll see you in the next one. Oh shit. God damn it. And then there we go. Yeah, cool. okay. Oh shit, that actually worked. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in slow mo. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wait, so I'm just gonna get a different angle and then slow mo yeah. uh, for you to kill him. Alright, ready when you are. Oh, oh damn. My God. Oh yeah.